What's up everyone, the Suicide Squad are back, this time with a new team, a new director and a new lease of life. James Gunn's The Suicide Squad is a sort of follow-up soft reboot of the 2016 Suicide Squad and sees a new team led by Bloodsport, played by Idris Elba, journey to a remote island on a search and destroy mission. Viola Davis, Joel Kinnaman and Margot Robbie all reprise their roles as Amanda Waller, Rick Flagg and Harley Quinn and outside of a quick interaction between Flagg and Harley you'd be forgiven for thinking there was never another film before this one. The story is a fairly straightforward one and that works to this film's strengths and although it can get a little zany at times James Gunn does his magic to bring it all together. The Suicide Squad is also rated R and rightly so as there is a lot of violence and gore but it's all very tongue in cheek much like how Deadpool handled its more graphic scenes. The whole cast are fantastic and James Gunn once again has done a great job of introducing the audience to a bunch of unfamiliar and crazy characters, including a walking talking shark and making you care about them. I even found myself surprisingly caring about a character that shoots polka dots. Everyone seemed to have their little moments to shine and learn just enough about them to make you know what they're all about. This was something I had an issue with with the first Suicide Squad movie where they just seemed to focus on Deadshot and Harley Quinn and then push the other characters to the background. So anything they did, however key to the story, just didn't have that much impact to me. From the very beginning, you get a strong sense that you're in for a very unpredictable ride. There are many deaths in this movie and everyone is up for the chop at any given moment. And it's this which adds a certain freshness to this film. Like I said before, this is a fairly straightforward film with your typical action movie villain looking to rise to power, but that isn't a bad thing. I doubt this is a spoiler as they do show Starro in the trailers and quite a bit in the promotional material, so people should be aware of the alien's presence. But saying that, the movie does stay quite grounded for the most part, as much as a movie like this with its characters could, and doesn't feel like just an anti-heroes versus aliens romp. I also feel like Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn has never been better. She's her usual zany self, but for the first time she really felt like a threat who was unpredictable and would do anything she wants when she wants. No spoilers, but there is one scene in particular where the action turns up to 11 and we get to see Harley in her element, really going for it and causing some beautiful chaos. It was one of the best scenes of the movie for me. Interestingly, James Gunn has said that he never knew about the Birds of Prey movie before making The Suicide Squad, but yet Harley's journey feels organic and as though the movies she's appeared in have all been connected, even if very loosely. This isn't the Harley show though, and as mentioned before, each character gets their time in the spotlight. John Cena is surprisingly funny as the peacemaker and his rivalry with Bloodsport to see who's the deadliest works really well and again adds some very funny moments to the movie. Ratcatcher 2 and Polka Dot Man both add a sense of heart and sincerity that make the audience see some good within this dangerous team. By the end of the movie you'll love both of these characters even if you have no idea who they are now you'll be rooting for them. King Shark is still well a shark uh, so expect quite a few people to become his next meal, but as dangerous as he is, he's still a lovable character. There are of course going to be similarities with the Guardians movies and this one, but the Suicide Squad has its own personality and is a hilarious, violent, over-the-top action movie that I love through and through, and is definitely up there as one of the best DC movies that has been made in quite some time. James Gunn was given free reign with this franchise and these characters and it shows as it seems like everyone involved was having a blast making this one. I love The Suicide Squad and definitely recommend watching it. It's a complete departure to what the first movie was and this to me is what a Suicide Squad film should be all about. The expendables of the DC universe, this movie nails that. Have you seen The Suicide Squad yet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.